In this video, I'm going to talk about the different types of tools used in analytics. Uh, when I say tools, I, I mean the softwares. Um, well, uh, the most popular analytical tools or uh, the softwares used in analytics industry are the following, uh, led by SaaS. So SaaS is the market leader. And then SPSS, now IBM has acquired SPSS. And then R, which is the free uh, software and getting becoming very, very popular nowadays. And then Statistica, now it's uh, with Oracle. And then MATLAB, Minita. So these are some of the very uh, popular statistical tools used in analytics. So uh, the market leader is SaaS, but uh, R is becoming very popular as well. So uh, SaaS uh, is a proprietary software, whereas uh, R is, uh, is a free software. So that's the difference and that's one of the reasons why R is becoming very popular because smaller organization cannot afford SaaS. The, uh, there are uh, different uh, types of analytics that is done and I'll, I'll talk about the kind of analytics roles available and it will be more clear that time. So uh, the uh, analytical tools that I mentioned just now are basically used for statistical modeling and but there are other type of analytics that is also done like reporting and business intelligence. I'll, I'll talk about the difference about statistical modeling and the uh, reporting tools later on. Um, we are going to we are going to learn that later on. Uh, but yes, there are two different types of uh, different types of work. So uh, for modeling purpose, these tools are popular. But for reporting purpose, SaaS has a ease over almost everything else in the analytics industry. SaaS is very good at doing the reports. And then other tools which are used are IBM, Cognos, even SPSS. Um, so these are some of the softwares used for reporting and BI. And then the popular programming languages uh, that are very that are very useful and very uh, you know used uh, most of the times again led by SAS and then R. Uh, Python is gaining popularity. Java. That's also very uh, getting becoming very popular, especially after the big data. And then SQL is a must, okay? Because you, you always need to extract data from one place and then uh, consolidate data uh, or the split the data into different uh, smaller data sets. So for all that, you need to use SQL, structural query language. But in the recent uh, times, Things have changed a lot. SaaS is losing its popularity or losing its market share to R and Python. Uh, and because of the big data hype, and I'll talk about what is big data and all that. Yes, because of the last volume of data. So that's what big data is all about. Uh, data uh, softwares or tools like Hadoop or the no, uh, NoSQL databases are very are becoming very popular. So we'll talk about Hadoop later. So Hadoop is basically one tool that can handle um, that can handle large data set, uh, terabyte, a gigabyte of data, and uh, it uses uh, a cluster of computers to to do the computations. So that's why Hadoop is becoming very popular. And then there is a NoSQL database that uh, do not use the SQL like syntax. That's also getting popularity because of the large volume of data. And another type of tool which is getting very popular is visualization tool. And uh, visualization is about uh, creating charts or, uh, you know, creating uh, some plots, something like that. Okay. You just want to, uh, you know, instead of just doing a mathematics on the data, uh, you just want to view the data, how it looks. Okay. Uh, you want to have it in image form because interpreting an eBase is a lot easier. So that's about visualization. And uh, in fact, all, almost all the software has got visualization abilities, but the specialized software that is used for visualization and the most popular is the Tableau. Okay. 
Tableau is very very popular in this space. So these are basically some of the softwares or the tools you will come across. Of course, this is not limited. There are so many other interesting tools that is gaining popularity and coming to market. Uh, like for example, one of the uh, programming languages which is becoming uh, popular is Julia, and, and we can of course explore more on this.